Hello everyone, once again welcome to our channel Fizzy Dive and this is your teacher Alexi Rajiv. Today also we are going to study a very important topic for class 10 NCRT that is concave lens. The continuation of the previous class that is a concave lens, the convex lens and now we are going to study about the concave lens, what are the different properties and how images are formed in a concave lens. So the image formation is a basic and the major topic that will be asked for the exam so just listen carefully so without wasting time let's dive in straight to the class so to the class so here comes the concave lens so you can see in the screen that is one concave lens is placed there and here you can see one point that is f dash and 2f dash f and 2f so here also like that of the previous cases there are two major cases that is to be dealt with and the first case is that if you are placing an object at infinity where will be the image formed and what are the different properties of the images formed there whether you are getting a real image or a virtual image or what is the size of the image whether it is upright or it's uh, inverted is all we will dealt we will see in this particular case and we will just understand the basic ideas and the second case that is to be studied here is that once the object is placed between infinity and the optical center C, what will be the position of the image form there and what are the different properties of image form there. In the case of mirrors, we have seen there are two cases for whatever mirrors, we'll, we have seen that there it was convex mirror and we have seen two uh, cases there like that here it is concave lens and there are two cases and these are the two cases so we'll start the cases one by one so the first case so here comes the first case that is when once the object is placed at infinity so you all know that if an object is placed at infinity the ray of the light or beam of light will be passing like this right straight from the infinity or cer at certain point and you can see there are two points. I have taken two rays there and these rays will be parallel to each other. And here I am also taking the condition that these rays, that is ray 1 and ray 2 are parallel to the principal axis also. It is not necessary that they should be parallel to the principal axis, but they will be parallel to each other. Rays will be parallel to each other. And you know that this concave lens is also known as what? Whether it is diverging or converging lens, it is also known as the diverging lens. Whereas the convex is known as what? The converging lens. So here it is a diverging lens. So you know that these rays will be diverged after a refraction. As they are diverging, they will not meet at any point in real. But we need to find out a meeting place, right? So for that, we are going to extend it backwards or extrapolate it backwards. So we will see that this extension will be passing through a particular point and we all know that particular point is known as what? The principal axis as this point is falling and in principal, sorry, this point is known as principal focus as this point, the, as this, this particular point is falling in this particular principal axis. So here comes the meeting point and this meeting point is at principal focus this meeting point falls on this principal focus why because these two rays that is ray 1 and ray 2 is parallel to the principal axis if they are not parallel to the principal axis this point this particular point will be falling somewhere uh, in this particular plane and we call it as what focal plane as this plane contains the principal focus we are not making it complicated we are saying that this particular this is the meeting point and here one more very important thing is that whether they are meeting in real or virtual so they are meeting virtually so the image form will be also virtual image and you all know that virtual image will be what inverted or straight erect so obviously it will be erect as we all know that the virtual images will be erect and now coming to the size what will be the size of the image form there you know that these rays are coming from the infinity they are coming from uh, from infinity right and as it is coming from infinity as compared to this particular point they are point size right as compared to the object we all know that it is highly diminished according to the figure according to the ray diagram we got it it is highly diminished so these are the properties that we got and what is the position 
the position is that the object will be falling f dash or the principal focus principal focus and or simply you can also write focus why because here in this case once again i'm repeating that is the ray is parallel to the principal axis so we got principal focus we can also write principal focus and sometimes according to if you're not drawing it parallel to the principal axis then your position will be simply focus okay but no need of much complicated things and all for your board exam you just draw like this okay then no issues in marking and all you will get good and full marks now coming to the second case that is if the object is placed between this infinity and the optical center c so the second point the second case that is once the object is kept between the infinity and the optical center so for our convenience i am taking this particular point that is beyond 2f dash okay so let us see what happens here so from this particular point a i am sending one ray directly straight parallel to the principal axis so after refraction what will happen they will just deviate why because it is a concave lens and we all know that this goes like this it is a diverging lens you all know like that so we need to extrapolate it backwards and you can say that this line is going like this right so in the case of a concave lens as it is diverging lens no rays will meet in real after a refraction the next point i need to take one more ray why because you know you know that two rays are required minimum so i am just taking this ray that is just passing through the point c this is a next array after if a ray is passing through this particular point c then there will be no deviation it will pass actually there will be deviation but as we are taking very thin lenses so there will be the deviation will be what negligible here also you can see that without deviation the ray is refracted it is passing by so you know if i want to extrapolate it backward then this will be the meeting point right as this point this point is met and two rays are meeting at this particular point and this point is coming from point the point a there will be a a dash here a formation of a dash is formed there and here this will be b dash so the position of the image will be between f dash and c so i'll use another color that is f dash and c so the position will be f dash and c so what will be the next properties the other properties there so are they meeting in real no they are not meeting in real so you will get a virtual image there a clear virtual image there and you know all virtual images are erect image and the next thing is that what about the size we can see the size of ab is this much but here you will get a small diminished image there so the size will be diminished so these are the properties there so wherever whenever you are keeping the object between the infinity and c you will definitely get the image between f and c you can just try yourself by keeping the object at 2f f dash f dash i like that and between 2f dash and f dash and then you can examine yourself and see what will be the position of the object and there all you can see that the position of the object will be between f dash and c and they, this object will be coming closer 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 to the optic center and that will be the, your homework and just try it and see what will be the position for different different points so that's all the two that these are the two conditions two cases that you need to study for your concave lens and it's so simple the if you are studying the image for the image formation for the uh, mirrors then you will you will find no difficulties it's so simple and study well draw it well and that's all that's it uh, these are the image formation for concave lens and two cases are studied the two cases are taught here to we have seen the different properties of the images formed there so we uh, i hope that by this the image formations for both lens and mirrors are over and definitely you will get at least 5 to 6 marks from this particular portions so study well do well practice it more and draw it and study don't see the ray diagram and study draw it and study now we need your support 
for your like, share, comment and subscription. And we will see in the next class with new, new topics, important topics. So stay tuned. And till we meet again, goodbye and have a nice day.